Christmas is a time to celebrate with the family. Here in LA, everyone is preparing for holidays. Hey, hello. I am Jade. I am in LA studying in a film school. Season's greetings, everyone. It's holiday time and all my friends have left to visit their family. Even I used to leave until last year. Every year, my parents eagerly waited for my arrival with lots of gifts and presents for me. I was their only child. My parents were well off. Dad was an investment banker and he made thousands of dollars every day. Dad invested a lot of money for me. All my studies are taken care of. But last February, mom and dad had a fatal car accident and they passed away. Now, I am left alone. We were just a family of three. We loved each other so much. But now, I am alone. You might think I am grown up and I can live alone. But believe me, it's worse. I miss them. I miss them both. One Christmas night, I was walking down the street thinking about mom and dad. I was full with feelings. I didn't realize that I was crying. It began to snow then, but even the snow didn't bother me. I was walking not knowing where I was heading, sobbing. I recalled my mom's voice. Jade, it's snowing. Come inside. And this memory shattered me. I was lost in it. I could still hear. It's snowing. Come inside. But then... Someone pulled my hand and took me inside a house. He asked, What's wrong? Why was I walking in the snowstorm? I did not answer him and kept crying. <laughs> After a while, I saw the person in front of me, a handsome boy looking at me. He asked, Are you okay now? And I replied, Yes, sorry for troubling you. I was about to leave when the boy said, It's snowing out. It would be better if you stay here. Although he was a stranger, but his concern for me made me stop there. After so many months, there was someone who was concerned about me. I sat on the sofa, and he made brought two cups of hot chocolate. I thanked him, and he answered, Thank you. At least this Christmas I have someone to share. What do you mean? I inquired. He replied that he was an orphan and lived all by himself. I asked, Don't you miss family? To which he said, I never had a family, and so I don't know what it is being with a family. I felt so bad for him. Till now I was thinking that my grief was bigger but now I was feeling that at least I had my parents' memories. I told him that I lost my parents and I missed them a lot. He took my hand and creased it with affection. I was feeling better. I asked, What is your good name? And replied, Thomas. I added, Nice to meet you, Thomas. I was interested to know about Thomas and so I asked him about his life. He narrated that he lived in an orphanage, and later, a rich man sponsored for his education as he was bright. Soon, he got a job, and then he bought his own house, the house I was sitting in. I was impressed by his story. The snowstorm stopped in a while, and then, he was packing some gifts in a car. He asked me to join, and I immediately agreed. I sat in the car. The car arrived at an orphanage, and as the car stopped, kids came running out. Thomas handed each one of them their gifts. A little girl walked to me and she greeted me. Merry Christmas! And wished her too and handed one of the gifts. There was a big smile on her face, enough to cheer me. I haven't experienced happiness for a long time. The kids made snowmen and even threw snowballs at me and Thomas. We were happy. Truly happy. We left from there. Thomas dropped me to my hostel and he gave me a gift too. I have nothing to give right now. I said. 
he smiled and said, He has already received his gift. He bid me buy and left. Since that day, I kept meeting Thomas. Thomas was a nice guy. He cared for me. And I began to like him. I was so fond of him that I called him every single day. We began hanging around. Thomas cooked for me, danced for me, and even watched movie with me. We were getting closer. One evening, I asked him, what was the gift? He said he had already received, and he replied, you. I was blushing and tears rolled down my eyes. He immediately hugged me. I felt so good in his arms and wished I could stay there forever. We often visited the orphanage and I also sponsored two kids' education. My parents had left enough money for me to live. Thomas was shocked as he did not know that I was rich, but he said he was impressed with my good work. One day when we were watching movie, and he said, Jade, don't ever leave me alone. Now I know what it is to have a family. You are my family, my life. He hugged me. I was so waiting for this time. He was my soulmate. I kissed his forehead and hugged him back. We're in love. I met my soulmate on a Christmas Eve and today a year has passed by. I have completed my film schooling and tonight I am going to marry the love of my life, Thomas. And finally, I will have someone to spend all my Christmas Eve henceforth. There won't be any Christmas without family. I am happy today and I wish everyone a very happy Christmas.